To install a new motor control board, you need a Phillips head screwdriver and a new motor control board. Please note that your new motor control board may look different from your existing board. You may verify that the new control board is correct by comparing the part number on the packaging with the part number on the order. To begin, turn the treadmill off and unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait 60 seconds and remove the motor cover. Most covers are held on with four Phillips screws, two on each side. Locate the motor control board on the right side of the machine and make sure no LEDs are lit. If they are, wait until they dim before proceeding. Unplug the wires from the motor control board. Depending on your machine, this may include wires for the console cable, elevation motor, optic sensor, speed sensor, and AC wires. If you are unable to unplug the motor wires with the board still attached, remove the motor control board bracket screws from the frame to release the motor control board. Continue disconnecting wires from the board. Plug the red and black motor wires into the new board, matching the wire with the corresponding spade. Install the new motor control board to the frame using the same screws. Reconnect the remaining wires to the new motor control board. Place the motor cover on top of the electronics without fastening the cover to the unit. Plug the treadmill in and turn it on. Put the safety key in place. Recalibrate your machine according to the directions that came with the board. You can also view our treadmill calibration video. Reattach the motor cover using the motor cover screws.